Hi everyone, it's Linnea for iCrafter, and I'm here to introduce to you the new Alphabet Heather dies. There are two sets in the Alphabet Heather collection, the uppercase and the lowercase die sets. The uppercase is going to give you um, the uppercase letters as well as some symbols and there's a little swish mark that you can add to the ends of your letters and then the lowercase is going to give you all the lowercase letters of the alphabet along with your numbers one through or zero through nine and then there's also a little swish in that set as well. I'm going to use these to spell out the words hello friend so I'm using the capital H and the capital F from the alphabet Heather upper uh, die set and then the rest of my letters are from the lowercase die set. I'm die cutting these out using my die cutting machine and my I Mend self mending cutting deck. I like to use this cutting deck because it's going to give me clean cuts and I can use this self mending cutting deck over and over again without replacing my plate. I'm also using my I click pick to punch out those little dies from the or the letters from the dies. Now I wanted to create a fun background to feature my Alphabet Heather dies, so I'm grabbing the Cosmic Flare stencil. This is the first stencil that iCrafter produced. I'm going to adhere that onto the back of my card, and I'm using my eye brush blending brushes. These are some fingertip blender brushes. These are not foam. These are actually like you would have in the big blender brush tools in fingertip form. So I love to use these for small stencils and stencils that have little fine lines like this Cosmic Flare stencil. There's some chunkier lines, but there's also some thinner lines that like to move around a little bit. And using my fingertip eye brush blender brushes really helps with that. So I blended some yellow ink over the Cosmic Flare stencil, and then the fun feature of this stencil is you can remove this and you can flip this. So I flipped it a 180 degrees, and I love that you can also flip this. You could kind of flip this upside down too for a different look. I'm going to line this back up on my card front, making sure that that center ray is in the center, and then I'm going to grab another of my eye brush blender brushes, and I'm going to ink over this again. Now when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you use two colors that are going to blend nicely together because as you can see here, there are some portions of the Cosmic Flare stencil where you're actually overlapping your two colors. So I chose to use a yellow and a blue. That way when they overlapped, I got green. So I would have a fun three-toned stencil. Isn't that super fun? My Alphabet Heather sentiment is going to really pop against this background. So I used a centering ruler and I'm just going to line up my sentiment right across the center of my card. I am going to be using my eye grip flat head tweezers from iCrafter to help me in positioning these. I love these tweezers because they are not sharp and they are the reverse type of tweezers. So right now I'm just holding them and then when you squeeze the tweezers will release. They make positioning things a whole lot easier for me because I don't have my big hands in the way. I can let the eye grip flathead tweezers do the work for me. I'm using liquid adhesive on the back of my alphabet heather letters and I'm just putting them together in a straight line. Now the fun thing about the alphabet heather uh, letters is that they will overlap each other. They have this fun cursive style to them. So the tails of the letters will overlap each other and it's going to make it look like you have one continuous die cut rather than individual letters, which I absolutely love. I love that with alphabet dies, you can create any sentiment under the sun. So I'm just going ahead and continuing on using my eye grip flathead tweezers and my liquid adhesive and I'm overlapping the tails of the letters to make it look like one continuous cursive sentiment. Once I have that done, I'm going to trim down that background panel so that I'll have a small white border on my A2 sized card. I'm going to pop up that background with some foam for dimension. In this card featuring the new iCrafter Alphabet Heather uppercase and lowercase dies is finished. Thank you all for watching this introductory video to the Alphabet Heather dies. Remember to head over to the iCrafter website for more inspiration using these die sets and to see more inspiration of other iCrafter products. Bye!